Today on your numero you know breakfast show, Wake Up Nigeria. Yes, indeed. Here on the show, we join in to recognize the social, economic, and cultural, and also political achievements of women across the entire world. Mm -hmm. The women in our lives, including myself and beyond, of course, contribute towards success and betterment. Uh, it is safe to say the sun doesn't set without our love and contribution nicely you put. can say you can say it to me again that's <laughs> no. fine uh mike <laughs> yeah what's up what's good what's good man Sorry. you guys are going on about economic social uh, and what's mental. A lyric i thought you guys were you know be making some new policies and all of that but hey come on it's great to be back on your screens uh, this tuesday the most productive day of the week good morning yes, guys how are you doing I must very say, well. you have a very nice mustard uh, jacket there, blazer, is it? Yeah. Mustard? Yes, mustard. Wow. That's, yeah, that's I believe you joined them. For I, us, it's it. just simple. Well, it yeah, is not these women. good. <laughs> anyway, but those in between colors, actually, I was expecting Mary to be the one to go all mustardy on me, but hey, come on. If that's the color, then it's it is. It's all good. Hopefully, today's show will help set the tone in the entire flow for your entire week with all the global celebrations that we had going on yesterday, even here at TVC. Now, we are all in high spirits and hope that we rub off you on the right way, giving you that extra, extra that you need to get your Tuesday going and indeed to sail through the entire week. You did, uh, though you said everything I wanted to say. It's okay. <laughs> I got you. I got you. Okay, my name is Mary Bashua Alimi. And indeed, my name is Mazino Appeal. Remember, you can use the hashtag Wake Up Nigeria on TVC across all social media platforms to be a part of the show. Uh, and indeed, this is indeed the best breakfast show on television. Indeed it is. You can also watch us live from absolutely anywhere across the world. And that's through our mobile app. Uh, you can download uh, from the Google Play Store or iOS. Okay, so... Get it on your phone. Yes, indeed. We also implore you to follow us across all socials. Please, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, everything. We are at TVC Connect. Now, let's let you in on what we have lined up for the show today. First off, on Parenting Today, we will be discussing the signs of toxic parenting with Femi Shofo Lue, a uh, thoroughbred, passionate youth teacher with more than a decade hands-on experience. He has a burning desire to see uh, an average youth become an exceptional young adult. Now the importance of sound health cannot be overemphasized as we focus on the role of technology in posture, gait and osteoarthritis with Dr. Olowe, a doctor of physical therapy with over 30 years experience of touching lives. And of course, right after that, we will be having, there'll be a multi-talented artist whose originality cuts across music as a multi-instrumentalist, music instructor, voice trainer, songwriter, and a record producer. Finally, we will have a chartered accountant with over a decade of financial management experience, Victoria Ajayi. She is our deputy finance director here at TVC, a fellow with the Association of Chartered Certified Accountants, ACCA. She will join us much later on for an interesting conversation, it being International Women's Week after all. Okie dokie. Welcome. Hey. Yeah. We did. So, uh, now, what, what a, a long weekend we had. Exactly. <laughs> Elongated weekend we had. Apologies about not being uh, here yesterday. Mm. Uh, well, hey, but we celebrated as much as you did, and you can find most of our content on social media. Yes. How was your, oh, well, Women's Day yesterday, Mary? Women's Day yesterday. First off, I must say a very big thank you to TVC Communications. Yesterday was really nice for the ladies. We had a very good time. Uh, there was plenty to eat. Mm. At some point, the ladies were like, okay, do you guys want to kill us with food? <laughs> <laughs> like, it started with the uh, Chapman, pizza, small chops, ice cream, then ice cream again. Are we, enjoy food, are we enjoying this, Mike? I'm, I'm not enjoying it anymore. You, know, you, you stay, you know what happened. And then, <laughs> at the end of everything... <laughs> We got two oh packages, we one don't, filled with so many goodies. We, don't we want had to know a anymore. hair. We, you asked Listen, Mike, me I'm now. sure it didn't feel the same without the men there, but congratulations. No, it, to it women. felt really good. <laughs> At some point, I was like, why do we have men working? In okay, this? we have all the women behind the camera all going, yes, yes, <laughs> yes. Well, we congratulate you. We love you. It's all good. Yeah, hey, well, besides that, we also launched. Um, uh, uh, the TVC Women Network. Mm -hmm. But you know the highlights of the day, the fact that people want money. Oh, right. So p some people wrote poems because we're encouraged to send in poems. Mm -hmm. And each 
person who contributed won 50,000 naira. Oh, oh, just for participating? Just for participating. Wow. Uh, of course, for those who couldn't um, meet up with the rules, like maybe your poem was longer than the one minute it indicated uh -huh. or you submitted late, they still got 25,000 naira each. Oh, did you, did and you then there was, uh, uh, which participant? Me that was tired on oh, <laughs> this Sunday. Would have been your chance and to then, change that phone. No, it's only, Yesterday. It's only, it's only, it's only when they tell you, it's just like when they give small assignments as all those small, small things. Uh -huh. Yes, basically. they are the ones exactly. that. Exactly. <laughs> and then we had a quiz. Next year, it's going to be. <laughs> no, that next year, the cash price would be 1,000 naira. I would have preparing from this year. And then, of course, uh, there were quizzes as well. I won 10,000 naira for answering a question. Nice. So let's go on this break before they ask me more questions. <laughs> Stay with us. <laughs> Time for the news update on Wake Up Nigeria. Now, we begin with a gunman abducting 19 people in Niger community and another 19 persons being kidnapped in Niger State in Kutunku Village, uh, Wushishi local government area. The attackers reportedly arrived at the community this morning, shooting into the air to scare the people. Now, according to one of the residents who had a telephone conversation with TVC News, uh, the gunmen also beat up uh, the community dwellers during the operation. The 19 people kidnapped comprised 11 male and 8 female. Uh, the member of the community said two of the abducted females were preparing for their wedding, uh, scheduled for the weekend. The bandits are yet to contact the families of the abducted persons. From there, we talk more about International Women's Day. Uh, the wife of the president, Aisha Buhari, is calling on Nigerian leaders to bring an end to the incessant spate of abductions of women and girls in the country. The first lady was speaking in a message to mark the 2021 International Women's Day. She also called on all stakeholders to continue to exert their different levels of influence and bring an end to kidnappings. The statement read, and I quote, As a mother, I share the sorrow and agony of the victims and their families. I am also not unaware of the impact that these abductions could have, could have in reverting many successes we have hitherto achieved, especially in terms of girl-child education and early marriages end of quotes now this year's theme women in leadership achieving an equal future in a covid 19 world is a strong call to appreciate the efforts of women and girls in the fight against covid 19 pandemic Meanwhile, President Muhammad Buhari has restated his administration's commitment to addressing the multifarious challenges confronting women at various levels of society. With females forming about half of the country's population, President Buhari avers that any government which neglects such a crucial component of its demographic assets stands the risk of stunted growth and likely failure. He also condemned all forms of gender-based discrimination, abuse, and violence targeted at women at the workplaces, schools, community, and national levels. The president praised Nigerian women, noting that the theme of the 2021 celebration, Choose to Challenge, is apt because they have shown by dint of hard work and capacity that they can perform creditably if given the opportunity at home and on the global stage. Still on the International Women's Day, going to the National Assembly now, uh, where uh, the National Assembly has promised to further alter the provisions of the 1999 Constitution as amended to ensure justice and fairness for the female gender in the country. The Speaker of the House of Representatives, Femi Gbaja Biamila, gave the assurance at an event organized by the House to mark the International Women's Day. It's great as we the parliamentarians make it for you. Otherwise, greater tomorrow becomes just a phrase. We have to make it easier. We have to make that we are sure that that tomorrow is great. And that's one of the reasons why we're here today and we're celebrating today. Because when we celebrate women, we celebrate children, boys and girls. There is no way you can separate children from women. Because it is a vehicle with which they came to this world. Gender equality remains one of the greatest threats to Africa's future. 
Available statistics on gender parity in Africa put it at 0.8%. Closing the gender gap for women and girls in all spheres of life and meeting the SDGs targets require our collective efforts in Africa. And that's it on the news updates for the SAR on Wake Up Nigeria. And you're welcome. Let's do the dailies now. I've been going through a few of them, perusing through. Uh, much talk about the uh, COVID-19 vaccines. But let's already let you in on what you find on the front pages of the dailies this morning. We start with the Vanguard newspaper for a Tuesday, the 9th of March, 2021. First big headline here, arrest of kidnap kingpin. Wakili, a Fenifera Pandev, others fume as police take OPC men to Abuja. It's a mark of injustice under Buhari, say Fenifera. It's not surprised. I'm not surprised, says Adibandra. And Wakili was declared untouchable, say source. We won't condone miscarriage of justice, say Makini. Many more riders on there. You might want to find that and also read. Nobody stands to gain anything if Nigeria breaks up, says Kuka. And Nigeria records 7.37 uh, 7 trillion naira deficit in 2020. Saudi drone attack, oil price fluctuates as Nigeria's petrol price stabilizes and NSARS, fake lawyer, filed criminal case against Files, Davido and 48 others, say the MBA. And lastly, on the Vanguard newspaper this morning, bandits kidnap another 30 persons in Niger State. Storm Village on foot lead captives into force. That's it for the Vanguard newspaper. Now we move on to our next daily, and that is the Nigerian Tribune. Right off the bat for the Nigerian Tribune, first big headline here. Orderly rollout of vaccines will test Nigeria's ability, say the federal government. Nobody is safe until everybody is safe. 70% of Nigerians will be vaccinated by 2022, says the SGF. And 2021 Hajj, no COVID-19 vaccination, no pilgrimage, says um, NAHCON. Find out on page 9 through to eight. At the top of the Tribune, UBA delivers double-digit growth in gross earning as profit hits 132 billion naira and seven arraigned over uh, Shasha crisis to be released. DPP Legal Advice says they have no case to answer, says the OYCP. Moving on now um, uh, to another big headline for the Tribune. NDLEA recovers cocaine heroin in Anambra State. Um, Monarch's Palace uh, intercepts a narcotics build for U.S., China, UAE at Lagos Airport. And anger trails oil PDP LG chairman primaries. Uh, Fraka in Lagelu, one injured members uh, hold uh, parallel primaries. And APC has not zoned presidential ticket to South Kogi Governor say. Finally, for the Tribune, politicians offered bandits 57 million naira not to release abducted Jangebi girls. Government, uh, governor's aide alleges powerful people, politicians, businessmen behind banditry, say the Anglican prime, um, the Anglican primate. Moving on now to our next daily this morning, and that's the Guardian newspaper. COVID-19 vaccine safe, governor, uh, government assures as more VIPs get jabs. And um, Austria suspends jabs with batch of uh, AstraZeneca vaccine after one person died. Another fell ill after taking shot. Nigeria expecting next batch of COVID-19 vaccines in May, uh, which may be sizable compared to initial delivery. Onward now for the Guardian newspaper and uh, below we find do more for women. Aisha Buhari charges leaders as FG pledges action on gender biases, women exclusion and also abuse. Army warns Gumi, others uh, against disparaging remarks and Anambra women go naked over land for airport. Abuja Lokoja Road, a national shame, say CAN president. And finally, cash crunch reduces National Assembly sitting to once a week. Let's move on now to our final paper this morning, and that is the Punch newspaper. Ogun Katsina and Anambra, seven governors still to illegal, uh, stick to illegal LG caretakers uh, panels, and Anambra yet to hold LG poll since 2013. Katsina, last LG poll held in 2014. Directors of personnel run inquiry LGs, and Sokoto held last LG poll 2016. That's as much as we can take for the dailies this morning. We implore you to please well, pick a couple of these and maybe even make a comment where you can use the hashtag wake up niger on tvc and we could also perhaps continue the conversation on socials thank you very much i think we should do a movie on jaja yeah, but there's so the much we don't know about him Jaja-Wopobu. i mean he was very business oriented yeah, a and real hero when you see pictures of him you're gonna like the guy he looks like an african superhero
Mm. <laughs> the way they, um, I, I remember visiting Opobo one time oh, yeah. when I had to do a documentary there and all that. Very cool place. You know, when yeah. you're there and you, we had a guide uh, talking to them, telling you stories of the place and all that. And seen, you know, I saw cannons, boats, and all of that. Nice. So it's, it was a cool There's experience. nothing like, like visionary leadership. Mm, like he, King Jaja of Opobo was excellent, so mm. to speak, especially when it comes to the economic aspect of his uh, kingdom. It's, it's actually admirable. Yeah. So how do all those guys be sweating and then? And, uh, yeah, continue to finish uh, it. You know, okay. you know, 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 you you so so and so item in exchange for this, it's like they lose their level of reasoning. But you know something? They are willing to give up anything. Speaking about kingship and royalty, mm -hmm. let's talk Oprah. Megan hmm. and the prince. Now, okay. I heard a very interesting take on the entire thing that's going on. Thing, What's yeah. happened is that uh, Oprah Winfrey had an interview with the prince and, of course, the Duchess Sus uh, Sussex, uh, Meghan Markle, and there was so much that she told about racism, mm -hmm. uh, about um, 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 colonialism, mm -hmm. and, um, well, essentially, you had no choice but to feel very emotional, especially on her side. Mm -hmm. But there was a very different take this morning from Mary, which I was so surprised that I haven't seen it from that perspective, and I actually kind of like, I'm empathetic toward it. Mm. You, but do you want to tell? Well, uh, my own angle is right from time, and I know it's International Women's Week, women supporting women and all, and I've always been pro-women. But for once, even with my being pro, Meghan Markle all the well, mm. the interview did not sit well with me. Mm. I've... I'm of the opinion that when you, when a man has a problem with his wife's family, it's the wife that is supposed to handle it. That's my own personal opinion. People might not agree, that's fine. And if a woman has a problem with her husband's family, it's the responsibility of the man to handle it. Mm. Mm. Now, there are exceptions where you might find yourself in a position where you're not being helped by your man and you have to take the bull by the horn. But when you have a supportive husband as she does with Harry, I believe she should let Harry be at the forefront. Mm. Now, to the interview itself, when I was watching it, because maybe because being a broadcaster and you know an interviewer, you, and you all, are attentive to the nuances. You, yes, no. you you don't you don't listen to what the person is saying alone. You also have to look at the body language because that guides you into asking the next question mm. and uh, how to handle the person better. So unconsciously, I was more focused on her body language. Now, being pro Megan, I was expecting her to be like, you know, in quotes, honest. Mm. And, you know, you would know when somebody is really expressing Sincere. something from their death. But what I saw was acting. What I saw was a sense of vindictiveness. Mm -hmm. And what I saw was a sense of, I am a victim. Look at me as a victim. I'm the one suffering in all of this. So many people have been aware that she's suffering. We all know she was suffering one thing or the other because she expressed that. And the, the play on suicide? And then the play on suicide was the one that made me go, okay. The play? Well, she, yeah, she, she mentioned... She when, was, it comes, when it comes mm. to mental health, mm. the only person that knows how it is is the person involved. Mm -hmm. And that's why they say until it now happens, like, oh, why didn't you speak out? Mm. Because of things like this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Please, when it comes to mental health, especially suicide issues mm -hmm. or more, let the person talk. Mm. And we know how it was before she got to. We know how the royalty is. Mm. Even before they got married, we know how there was a bit of pushback even from the royal family. Mm. You understand? She had to do this to save herself. Yes, it might not sit down well with everybody, and I can understand where you are. I would like from. to ask you, save yourself, how, but please go on. Right I like, after. you know, you know, she mentioned, especially when it came, she said, Look, I was so, I, I did not, she didn't grow up that way. Imagine somebody who had. What now, 36, 37, mm. doesn't have access to her passport, mm. cannot go visit people she wants to visit. Mm. And then, you know, she made mention that while she was pregnant, colorism also came into the matter. Mm -hmm. People were bothering about how the child would look when it comes out. Mm. There was also talk about the child, or not talk, it was already mm. noted that, look, this child will not have a title. Mm -hmm. Therefore, there will be no protection for the child and mm. all of that, even before the child came out. No, well, um, you know, I, I so for all these issues, but my point is, no matter what someone might talk about, when she got to the part that she said her mental health was involved and she <laughs> almost committed suicide, in that part, she went out for her up for, for, for to, to save herself. Mm. And kudos to her for doing that. Mm -hmm. So, That's it for me. you can never judge people by how they tend to handle whatever mental health issues they are having. Mm -hmm. However, just as I said, and I'm reiterating it, there are ways to handle certain things. 
the British family, the monarchy, is not like you and I, our family. Mm -hmm. It is a family that is also politically inclined. Whatever decision you choose to take could affect so many people. Mm. It's not about you alone. Yes, you have your mental health issues, but that's why we have counselors and all. I might be sounding selfish now, especially as a woman, but I'm sounding like this because I know how these things happen even here in Nigeria. You might not like it, but you need to make room. You guys have two very... I feel like as if I'm interviewing the two of you. <laughs> but you guys have <laughs> no, two point, very you know, diverse my, my wife, views. And it is very, this. very... They're, they're very, very uh, 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 tenable. But um, well, we gotta, there's so much that we... Yeah, we're going to talk about this even much, well, yeah. inside of our social media. Yeah, uh, we're yeah, going to... Uh, definitely. Relate it to our circumstance here in definitely. Nigeria and Africa. So you just hang in there. If you have an opinion that you want to share, do that Let's on see. our social media handles at TVC Connect. Use the hashtag with Nigeria on TVC. We'll be right back after this break. But I bet you will be talking about this even while the cameras are off. Welcome to the kitchen right here on Wake Up Nigeria. Chef Simbi Yats. <laughs> She's the one in charge today. I, I can't help it. <laughs> She's the one in charge today. We're still in the middle of trying to get things ready. So I'm just going to let her uh, bring uh, the rest of the stuff we're using for breakfast today. Uh, but just so you know, uh, this morning we are having a special delicacy. I call it special because somebody has to stand where we're to make this kind of dish. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so what are we having for breakfast? We'll be having seafood okra with a bar. Hell. <laughs> wow. I already feel hungry. I don't think I want to eat it yet. You guys should just get your recipe ready. Okay. <laughs> so let's talk about the ingredients. What are we making use of? You have um, some fresh, fresh seafood, seafood yeah. here. Okay. Let's talk about the ingredients. Okay. So the, the ingredients uh, list is currently on your screen. You might want to check it out right now uh, for seafood okra while uh, Chef Simbi runs us through everything. So what are we making use of? Let's, okay. let's start from there. This is the um, yellow scotch bell and pepper. Okay. But it, some people call it unsuka pepper. I don't unsuka know. Unsuka <laughs> pepper. Okay. We have good leaves here. Okay. Palm oil. Okay. I have um, ocean crabs. Okay. Fresh cooker fish. Okay. Dried prawns. Okay. Snail. Okay. Scotch bonnet pepper. Okay. And I okra. have the grated okra and okay. the young grated one. Okay. Then here is Cameroon pepper. Seasoning cubes and salt. Now, um, the, the grated um, okra. Now, there are some people who like it crunchy. Yeah. Does it affect the meal if I decide I just want to slice it instead? You can do it anyhow you want. Anyhow some people like their it. okra chunky. Why some people don't want that? Crunchiness. They crunchiness. just want they it just to want be it like here. So, I go. actually did uh, the whole shapes here. I have oh. the grated one, the chunky ones. And wow. Okay. 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 So this see? must be the chunky yes. one. Can you see oh. they are different? Oh. So it's possible to mix it and still yes. have that yeah, consistency, right? You can do right? anything. You can cut it anyhow okay, you so want it. I know they're stock fish as well. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I was going to set, settle that when we had to come on, so I couldn't show it to you. Uh, but run us through the process. What are we going to do cooking wise? Okay. You have to start with boiling the fresh fish. Okay. Then you take it out. Okay. You then boil it without seasoning. With seasoning, obviously. With, with seasoning pepper. Out. You can have the little pepper with okay. it. Okay. With seasoning, salt. Okay. Then you can add your other ingredients. Ingredients. Okay. The the content is you know they said it, it, you about call it elastic ball so okay. everything can meet each other you can mix it from the beginning okay you can do it anyhow you want it okay 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 all right so you could put you you boil this first put it aside. Then, of course, uh, you boil the crabs, yeah. right? And I need to boil the stock fish so that it can get, get soft. soft. Okay. There seems to be a lot of boiling and preparation here. But the thing with okra is as soon as you have it all set, it takes a very, very, very short time to get ready. So uh, that's the advantage of okra soup. I think it's a, it's a one-pot dish. So of the course. only thing we're going to be using the pan for is... Uh, probably to prep the fish, fish yeah. before we do that and then we'll be boiling the crabs in the pot so we'll, we'll try as much as possible to get everything set not to worry uh it's still a uh, chef symbiote right now we will be joining uh someone on the sofa right now talking about mazino and uh we're going to be talking a very interesting subject hi mazino you say hi like we haven't seen before just this morning, but hi back at yeah, Mary. <laughs> it's all good. All right, welcome. Now, we are going to be talking parenting right now, and we have been joined by Femi Shofulue, a thoroughbred passionate youth teacher with more than a decade hands on experience. He has a burning desire to see the average youth become an exceptional young adult. 
Now on parenting today, he will be discussing with us the signs of toxic parenting. Now I had not heard about that topic until yesterday when I heard that I would be talking about this with you. By the way, welcome Femi. Good to have Thank you Thank you for here. having me this morning. Yes, indeed. Uh, I know you are a uh, candid uh, speaker at events and all of that, so I know you, you'll be very passionate and, and thorough with this conversation. But toxic right, parenting, you. who is a toxic parent? Well, to start with, a toxic parent is a parent that uh, have attitude and behaviors that poison their children. They are parents that, uh, in fact, there are several signals that you, 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 you get to look out for when you talk about toxic parenting. Number one of which, I believe, is your children. How comfortable are they around you? Mm. If your children are not comfortable around you, believe me, that is a very, very strong signal that you probably may be a toxic parent. Mm. When your children close from school, for example, do they want to come home? Are they happy coming home? During your holiday, do they want to stay with you or they seek somewhere mm -hmm. else to go? Do they have excuses trying to let you know, you know what, we can't stay here, we just want to go and see grandma, blah, blah, blah. I'm laughing because These you're, are you're describing point. almost every African parent. There. I tell you the truth, almost every African parent are toxic parents, almost all of, all of them. So this is the cultural thing then? It's a cultural thing, and uh, you see, and the problem is this, when you tell somebody that they are displaying uh, signals of a toxic parent, the truth is they will argue it out with you. That is mm. not true. Mm. And that is where the problem is. When you have a problem and you don't know you have a problem, that in itself is the number one problem that needs to be dealt with. Mm. And we now talk about ignorance. So you need to seek knowledge first as a parent to know who you are, where you stand on this kind of topic, on this kind of issue. You need to find out, are you a toxic parent? parent to start with before we now talk about how do you rectify the damage that has been done and the truth is this most parents are toxic parents not because they choose to be it is the way we are raised so it's a chain so reaction it's, a chain it's reaction. already been entrenched it's something that has been ongoing for decades for centuries in fact forever so how do we break it then especially as uh, modern parents for us to break a toxic parenting number one i believe is that you need to seek knowledge, like I said. Mm -hmm. You need to know where you stand on this kind of issue. Who am I when it comes to parenting? Am I parenting right or am I parenting wrong? And when you are parenting right, you know. When you are parenting wrong too, you know. Like the example I started with, as a child, do you want to go home at every slightest opportunity you have or you prefer to stay outside? There is no reason why a child should prefer staying out than mm -hmm. coming home. Mm -hmm. There is no reason, basically. So when a child is displaying this kind of attribute, as a parent, you need to know that, okay, maybe I'm doing something wrong that needs to be dealt with. And the truth is this. You will discover that most children, they are more comfortable around strangers mm -hmm. in Africa than they are they around their parents. Tell a lot to strangers instead so of actually it shows that we have a fundamental problem as African parents that need to be dealt with. Toxic parents use their children to get what they want. Mm. I, I, I dealt with a particular case like 10 years or there about ago of a woman who run a beer parlor. Mm -hmm. you know, who, who, I think we call it beer parlor in Nigeria, yeah. okay? Who run a beer parlor and has this young girl who was just like 14, 15, mm -hmm. helping her out in the beer parlor. And uh, when time some people try to touch this girl, you mm -hmm. know, immorally, Mm. And she tried to revolt. The mother get angry. I feel like they oh, want to no. spoil my business. Blah, oh, blah, blah, blah. And this girl spoke to me. She happened to be one of the people I speak with every week. Mm -hmm. And then she spoke to me about what is happening. I went to see the mom. And the mother was like, this is where I she feed makes her from. bread and butter. This is where I pay her school fees from. And I had to paint the picture for the mother. In the next four years, do you want to have a grandchild that has no father? Mm -hmm. Do you want your daughter to be like you? Because mm. I'm sure she's not even happy doing what she's doing. Mm. I, I'm sure of that. This is not to say that beer parlor business is a, bad, a bad business. No, 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 no. That is not what I'm saying. But a lot of us, there are things we are doing, and we know we are far more than this. Okay. So um, now you, you spoke a lot there, and I wanted to note something uh, about um, this uh, toxic parenting. The fact is that most um, older generation parents see that as a sign of respect when your kids are actually scared of you and I can say something and you have to do it. Now, if you remove that from our current contemporary culture, now how do parents, how are parents expected to gain that respect from their children or wards? Or is it better to get, um, instead of respect, perhaps maybe trust? Now, you see, I I'm very happy you touch on that issue. 
most parents in Africa, we want to have the respect that we do not work for. Mm. Like you said, peer, respect is hand. Mm -hmm. It's not something you hijack from people. You don't go about begging people to respect. In fact, most parents, they tell their children, you have to respect me. For I'm what? Because I'm your father. Yes. That is not enough reason. Do you tell everybody around the world, because you are older than them, they need to respect you? <laughs> Do you tell Dangote to respect you just because you are older than him? Mm. Where is the result? Where are the proofs? Where are the things that fetch you that respect? As a parent, if you do your due diligence and love your children the way you should, they will respect you. Mm. And I'm going to cite an example which okay. I didn't even actually plan for. When I was a child, uh, I was a dollar, to be sincere. <laughs> when I say dollar, I mean a very, very, a, a terrible one. Oh, that. Dear, I used to no. copy my name into exam hall so that at least oh. if I fail everything, I don't want to miss my name. <laughs> I don't want them to be looking for who scores zero <laughs> again. So, and my parents, uh, they, they, they were very, very terrible. I mean, they are terrible parents in that way. They don't like it, and they, they were punishing me every now and then. Then there came an uncle in my family from U U.S., Uncle Yinka, I will not forget. And this man showed me love. Mm. Okay? And he told me, Femi, you know what? He bought me a lot of things when he was coming. And he said, your next exam, if you pass, I promise you I'm going to get you more things. That sounds like bribe anyway. But then I could <laughs> see works. love. That is, for a child, that is communication of love. Mm. At that point, I didn't want to fail again. Not because anything has changed, but because I didn't want to, dis I didn't want, I didn't want to uh, disappoint the person who yeah. loved me so much. Yes. If parents love their children enough, they will gain their respect, gain which their respect. is without so, having to beg for it. My next question is, based on everything you've told us and uh, the points to look out for as perhaps maybe being a toxic parent or not, is it too late for people who have kids um, at certain stages, perhaps maybe five years old, 10 years old, 15 years old, is it too late for them to switch their parenting style? Uh, no, no. What effect would it have on the, on the kids? It's never too late. You see, I would like to say that toxic parents, they are actually the first bully that their children get to experience. Mm. And to right the wrong is not a rocket science. Mm. All you need to do is make a U-turn. Okay. Everything you are doing wrong before, like for example, some father, they believe that this loving thing mm -hmm. is meant for the mother. Yeah. So I'm just there to make money. I bring money home. All of you should be fine. And that is why most fathers are neglected towards the end part of their life. Mm. Okay. You will see children appreciating their mother, never appreciating the father. Mm. So father need to take up the role of loving their children. Now, Femi, I really would love to let you go on, but uh, we've come to the end of it. But I'm sure that there's so much that you can, uh, that you have to tell. Tell you what we're going to do, everybody. We're going to perhaps maybe have him back and we're going to continue this topic. But if you have questions for Mr. Femi here, maybe you should write them down and use the hashtag Wake Up Nigeria on TVC. We're going to make sure that it gets to him and then there's a response, especially on social media. We are at TVC Connect. Do stay tuned. Let's go on a break. Thank you very much, Femi, for joining Thank us. Thank you we for appreciate having me this morning. We'll I appreciate right it. Back. Thank you for staying with us. Uh, now, uh, over the past, uh, from last week into this week, we've been talking about health and technology, and that's something, technology is something I love, and uh, you can't say you love health. Health, health is us. You have to be healthy to live, of course. I have Dr. Oluwe in the house. It's great to have you. You're welcome, sir. Thank you, uh, Mr. Mike. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm good. And you? I'm well. Okay, so uh, today we're talking about uh, using technology to correct your posture yes. and all of that. Yeah, so what exactly are we, are well, we touching on today? The, the, one of the, uh, when you build a, build a house, mm. you start with a foundation. Okay. So that without a solid foundation, the house comes down. Mm. So also, it's our posture. When okay. it comes to our health, our legs is our foundation that carries everything. So, True. So now, when our posture is out of order, uh, we, we tend to have all kind of problems. Mm. Muscle imbalance, neck pain, back pain. We tend to age faster. Mm. We tend to develop arthritis because of muscle imbalance. Mm. So how do we fix this problem? We don't know. Thank God for technology. For technology. So we have this technology, uh, which will be flashing on the mm. hair to see okay. the result of the test. Okay. We can put you on this, on this ma machine, and this machine will go to your body like a scan. We mm. scan you from head to toe, and we, we spit the result out for us in about two minutes. Hmm. And it will give us your body, your body balance, your, your, you, it will break your body into segments and tell us what is going on. This is what we used to see in movies uh, some years back and all that. You just put it to something, scan you and then tell you and all that. It is possible now. It is in Nigeria as we speak. Wonderful. Wonderful. So 
Uh, let's uh, take, take us uh, through that process. What happens? Is it is it an app used on your phone? Do I have to come to a physical center to yes, visit you? Yes, you have all to come to a physical center because okay. it's, a, it's a very cumbersome machine. Mm. We have to put you on the machine and set it up and have a scan mm. of, your posture. of your posture. So it begins with your foundation. So we look at your foundation. Your, our, our, our legs is made up of three main arches. The arch is what supports our posture. Mm. So when these hatches become collapsed, then our body begins to take all kind of shape. People begin to have arthritis at a very early age. People begin to have pain, neck pain. And it's been documented not only in, in, in the Western world that about 59% to 60% of the reasons why people are not coming to work is because of terrible back pain or neck pain. And of course, uh, that's, a, that's food for our orthopedic surgeon, and we're not competing with them. We just want to slow the body down from aging by helping the body, showing the body what the posture abnormality is, and correcting it. And now, the, the yeah. good thing is that there's a solution. Exactly. I was getting to that, the corrective measures. Now, uh, just before we talk about corrective measures, are there some preventive measures first, before we, let, let, before we go into corrective? Well, the, the good thing about it is knowledge. Okay. If you don't know what is wrong, you can't correct what is wrong. You're right. So what we tell you, what this technology tells us, it tells us how our body, is, how, how our body frame is. So okay. this machine kind of takes out all the skin and show your bone. Mm. Because most of us, we, don't, we, don't, we, we tend to feel that everything is okay. Mm. But this machine takes us to the bare bone, scan our bone, and we can even see a result right there. Mm. That's, somebody's, that is a normal, that's somebody's posture mm. right there. So we, we, once we get this test, it shows your posture, and then we begin to tell you what is going on. It tells you, so you, this kind of a person is already having pain on the right shoulder because there's a right shoulder's drop. Yes, this person there's some is, sort of imbalance there. Exactly. And that person right there, we, we didn't even tell us that he's having neck, leg, leg pain, left, leg, left knee pain. But, but the moment it came on, and he said, you know what, I've been having pain in this leg, and mm. I don't know why. So for this person, this person can easily get into uh, early, early arthritis mm. because the, 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 the weight distribution is not, is not, is not balanced. Mm. And that is where our problem is. So yes. we have this saying in, in, in medicine, every man is crooked. Hmm. You just have to find out where, where, where you are your, cro your crookedness and lies. Crooked, yes, and we begin to fix that crookedness. Hmm. And without the foundation hmm. being solid, we can't help you. So Wonderful. once we fix the foundation, then we begin to tell you what the corrective measures are, what exercises you, you can, can do. You can do, exactly. And so we have exercises, that's yeah. what we're going to know. So we have, this, our, we have an app. Uh, that comes with all of these uh, called Dr. Connect. We have over 100 exercises in there that can help you strengthen your core muscle, your body muscle, your, 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 your body uh, on the overall. And you, once, once these muscles are strengthened and we put the corrective measures in place for you, then you begin to live a very active life. I can tell a lot of people say, I, I wish I can have massage on my shoulder. I wish I can have massage on my back. It's because the tension on the muscle is increasing by the minute because we have our posture out of work. Those massages, do they help? Well, they provide temporary relief. No matter mm, what temporary you, relief. Exactly. That's, no, that's... Matter, no matter what you do to a muzzle, once you put a pressure on the muzzle, they relax, you know, mm. and they give you a comfort for about 30 minutes, one hour, depending on how deep the massage is, and then you, the cycle continues again. Hmm. So now, what can we do in those kind of situations now? You said there's some kind of exercises you can tell us now. that you said, Like you said, from the foundation. So that means a lot has to do with the legs. So now, before you can correct a problem, is somebody who has a short leg. Hmm. You know, for you to correct that person working better, you have to put some certain things in the shoe okay. to make sure that the leg becomes balanced, balanced Okay, yes. Then so, you begin to fix the problem. So hmm. we have technology that can prescribe some some kind of an insole that will correct that posture and once we put that insole in your shoes and you begin to work with them then we begin to correct your problem from there on and then we, we can come back we, you can come back we can we, we can give you exercises to do to do at home on your own with that okay. and i'm telling you within a month of putting that guy's post uh, putting the insole for the guy his life dramatically changed mm. pain went down use of uh, narcotics, uh, medication went down because painkillers and all of that. Exactly.
Mm. Now, okay, so all of this is available via the app. You can, it's, it's, it's where you can start from, right? Is that where you it... can download our app, okay. Doctor Connect? Okay. Once you connect with us on that, you can even book a test like this. We have this is one of our tests that we do, but we're just talking about this today. So mm. you can uh, uh, book a, you, you can book a wellness. We, we do a wellness plan where okay. where we check a bunch of things. We check your body composition. We check. We, you, yes, talking about body, what we what we see here now, this uh, the the posture. <coughs> now, uh, we, we've seen a posture uh, where it's you no know, bent, and then we see some pressure points. Yes, where you've pointed out uh, the, 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 the neck, neck the, the back, low back pain, the knee, the knee pain, and all of ankle. that. Yes. And then this shows us the correct posture. So it says whenever you are standing, you do your best as possible to be to stay yeah. up straight. But with the guy on the other side, with put, you can see under that feet, a foot right there. Yes, like, it's like something right there. So that that on oh. so that is the corrective measure that made that, that helps that person to stand action. well. And that is because when your heart collapses, it's gone. There's no remedy. We have to put an outside corrective measures to balance that. Once we balance that, then we can align your body again. Once your body is aligned again, we can begin now to retrain your muscles to get used to what normal is. And when you get, when we restore your muscles memory, muscle back to, memory, very back important. To normal, mm. Then you live a pain-free life. Wonderful. So I like, I like, now I understand what you said from the foundation. Once the foundation, the source of the feet. Once you can get that right, a lot of other things. If the foundation will get be destroyed, yeah. What, what, can, we <laughs> what do? can we do? Wonderful. Thank you so much, Doctor Olowe. This was quite an enlightening discussion with you, and uh, hopefully this is something that has come to stay and something that people can uh, use to help themselves. Well, thank you for having posture. us. We are thank very you. grateful for this opportunity. Thank you, Nigerians, Dr. we can fix you now. We can make every Nigerian from crookedness to oldness. Wonderful, wonderful. Thank you so much, thank Dr. Olowe. All right, that was it on health. I hope you're able to pick one or two things. Let's head over to the kitchen. Uh, Mary, how far with, uh, is this seafood okra? Sorry. Huh? Sorry. Mary? Do I, do I look like Mary? Oh, that was <laughs> do you. Come on, it's got some, yeah. Mary is out of here <laughs> but in any case i'm joining the chef just uh, for a little bit because i smelled something very unique and that's some crabs crayfish and all and that's crabs. like you know i love it um now i saw that you did something very very special there you only steamed some of the fish and then you took it back out because this is not ready to eat is it is, is it no, exactly. so why did you do that exactly because i don't want it to be overcooked oh, because okay. i have to put, put it, it back, back in here. there and still cook it some yeah. more but you've just put the crayfish and the crabs. Those are crabs, yeah? Yeah. Okay. So you've just put the crayfish and the crabs, crabs in snails, there. Crabs, snails, dried prawns, stockfish. Stockfish, okay. And dried fish. All right. And then we have the okra uh, on the other side. Sorry, I'm... I'm not cooking this. that. You're not cooking that one yeah. yet? Yeah. Okay. So this is, a, this is a time thing. You have to, like, be very, very careful how, how long you leave it to, to, to heat and stuff like that, isn't it? Yeah. All right, very interesting. All of these are not going in yet as well. Not yet. Okay. First of all, I have no idea what happens inside of the kitchen, so this is actually a learning experience <laughs> for me, so I'm enjoying it. Apologies that I had to drive Mary out of here. So how long are we going to have that there for? In the next um, 15 minutes. 15 minutes. Yeah. That's a long time. Okay. 15. 15, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. Well, and then we're going to also put the okra in yeah. there. Wow, very interesting. So if I'm going to set out to make this meal, how long should I be looking at for everything to get done? It depends done? on what and what you're adding. Mm. Could there be anything more than what we have here? Of course. Like what else could we have in our meal? You can have more of all these things. Okay. So average, like so, like what we have here. And you, it, it must not be up to this. Mm. It's not even must to be up to this. Okay. And that would be a meal for how many people? For, let's say about six, seven. Six. All right. Very interesting. Well, if you're watching very interesting stuff going on in the kitchen here, you can check out the ingredients uh, there on your screen right now. Um, we have very, very exotic seafood ingredients inside of there, even if I say so myself. So check them out. And make, make sure that you also practice at home. We've got a bit of prawns, crayfish, dried fish, stalk fish, uziza leaves. That's what that is. Okay, some uh, unsuka pepper and also seasoning. Uh, of course, you need your regular salt fish, okra, snail, crabs to make it really work. And some onions in there, palm oil, and some crawfish, or is it crayfish? Which is it? I'm not sure which one it is. But in any case, these are what you need, the items, the ingredients that you need for a very, very delicious okra soup. Okra, is it? Okra yeah. soup. Okra soup. Seafood okra. A seafood okra. Okay. 
I have to get that one right. <laughs> now, um, I'm going to I'm, I'm going to make sure that I'm here when all of this is coming together because I'm I love the colors and everything Why? that's going to happen. Why must you be here? See? Why must you be here? Because I love it when you're around. <laughs> Seafood is not something we get often. <laughs> she says, "Why must I be here? Don't you love seeing me here?" I feel so. I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> no offense. <laughs> but, of course, none taken. But in any case, um, so I will be here. To, I hope that Mary will let me be here while all of this has come together. I'm so sure, yeah. And um, yeah. Tell you what we're going to do. Let's uh, start our second hour in just about a bit. Um, I'm going to drag Mary back in here and apologize for usurping her bits. Uh, do stay tuned. We'll be right back for second hour here. Wake up Nigeria for a Tuesday. And you are welcome inside the second lap of your top tier family breakfast show. Yes, of course, celebration. Uh, the celebration continues here on the show. We recognize women from uh, all parts of the country, all parts of the world, including all of them here. Uh, inside of Wake Up Nigeria, tall, short, dark, brown, not s mentioning names specifically, you know, fair you skin should. and all. Yeah. You won't be able to go home. Well, definitely <laughs> tall. <laughs> but that's right, we have plans to celebrate women doing exceptional things on the show all through the week. Yes, yes. that's what this week is all about, yes, women. Indeed. And I uh, took a bit of your job, uh, I had to usurp your duties inside yeah, of the kitchen yeah. with the chef. Some yeah. fantastic stuff going I on mind. in there. I, I can imagine. When I see crayfish and uh, crabs. Look at that soup. Mm, Oh, yes. came in. oh, it's coming together. Chef, slow oh down. I'm coming gosh. back. Which slow down? Stand there. <laughs> <laughs> in any case, now they say the taste of the pudding is in the eating. We sure have given you an hour of non stop infotainment, but hey, there is still so much to come inside the next 45 minutes here, and we're so glad that you have chosen to be with us here for this Tuesday morning. Don't you morning. wonder that Mike isn't even in the kitchen right I'm now? I'm surprised. Like, I was thinking it's a case of when, uh, you know, the cat goes to sleep. Exactly, you know, but no. I would have thought it would take advantage, but hey, fantastic vibes, loads of reasons to stay on and tune in. It is an exciting Tuesday edition of the show. My name is Mary Bashua Alimi. And of course, you know my name already. I don't need to tell it to you, so let's just move on. Remember, no, my name is Mazino Appeal, but of course, you can use the hashtag Wake Up Nigeria on TBC across all social media platforms to be a part of the show, like I've told from, you know, every single time in the past one hour. Uh, so please do that, and we will respond, or at least make sure that we... Uh, Put a like on that. Now, always remember you can watch us from absolutely anywhere across the world uh, through our mobile app that you can also download uh, from the Google Play Store iOS. Yes, indeed. We also implore you to follow us across social media. We are at TVC Connect across all of them. And now, let's tell you what we have inside the next four to five minutes. Um, and the last one. Still to come is Thobi. A multi-talented artist whose originality cuts across music as a multi-instrumentalist, music instructor and also voice trainer. He's also a songwriter and a record uh, producer. A chartered accountant with over a decade of financial management experience, Victoria Ajayi is our Deputy Finance Director here at TVC, a fellow with the Association of Chartered and Certified uh, Accountants, ACCA. She will join us much later for an interesting conversation. Choose to challenge. Yes, indeed. What did you choose to challenge yesterday? I chose to challenge not, you know, being broke. Nah, I put you on the spot there, sorry. <laughs> In any yeah. case. No, but seriously, that, that's, 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 the, that's the way forward. Like, um, I've always told people that contrary to what we believe, African women have never really been housewives. Mm -hmm. Housewife uh, came about when men went to work in modern cities mm -hmm. and the wives had to stay at home to take care of the children because there were no other family members mm. to help. Yeah. But traditionally, the women went to the, to the farm with the, with the husband, yeah. carrying their children, everybody in the farm, everybody was working, yeah. and that's the traditional way of yeah. life. So Interesting. as a woman, just try as much as possible to have uh, some source of income. That's it. Even mm -hmm. if it's the man paying you a salary, just make sure you have your own money. I'm going to go back to our last conversation mm -hmm. about Markel. Uh, Angela, yes, Angela. Hey, <laughs> Megan, no, not Angela. Michael, is where you were thinking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, your different views on it. And I also want to tell you out there that you can also please, we have a post up on social media. Yes. And we're talking about how far you would go um, to distance yourself from family because of love. It's mm. on our Twitter and Instagram and all of that. So make sure that you make a comment on there. We'll revisit it when we come back. But mm. how far would you expect anybody to What's go? family, man? first of all? Aha, almost, good question. You know, um, people talk about, uh, you know, the post went up, I think it was Uti or something who made up a post about how family is family and all of that. Look, the family you left, it was two people that were in love that started it. Mm -hmm. And those people are not related by blood. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. whose family? Mm. 
Family for family things happen, you for, become related by family blood. for instance for well, nothing. You're not really, your mother and your father are not related by blood. <laughs> so are you, so you are you telling me are you telling me that anybody that anybody that conjugated uh -huh. is related by yes, blood? Yes, that is why you are warned to be forget, careful who you Forget all those ones. Well, look, it depends on the institution ah, you're coming forget from. That one. <laughs> See, my point I'm trying to say is that look, family now for Harry is uh, his Meghan. wife. Meghan. Meghan. That's family, and mm -hmm. for that one. You can do what you want. So you have no qualms with distancing Fam yourself from the family, family that you grew fam up with or people no, when it comes to love? There is okay, always so extended family. So if you're Christian, the Luke, Luke says you leave your father you your cannot, mother. Look, you cannot... Look, and mind you, you people keep forgetting something. He's the man that is told to leave his father and his mother. Uh -huh. Wait, Abby, go on. And join with the woman. Uh -huh. Which means that the, the Indian woman is still people are the her. wise ones. Because mm. that's why the woman has to pay me. Whoa, 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 <laughs> whoa. Where do you come up with all these things? What do you just say now? We choose to challenge this. We choose to challenge. This talk is challenging. Excuse you know, we're us. We're going to continue this conversation Whoa. within ourselves. Uh, but on this note, remind uh, them to get on social media. <laughs> yes, and uh, don't forget. Yes, at TVC Connect hashtag Wake Up Nigeria on TVC. We're looking forward to reading your comments. You see the post there. Time for the news updates on Wake Up Nigeria, and uh, we begin with uh, gunmen abducting 19 people in uh, Niger community. Uh, they were kidnapped in uh, the Niger State uh, village of Kutunku, Wushishi local government area. The attackers reportedly arrived at the community yesterday morning, shooting into the air to scare the people. According to one of the residents who had a telephone conversation with TVC News, he said the gunmen also beat up uh, some members of the community uh, during the operation. The 19 people kidnapped comprised uh, 11 males and 8 females. A member of the community said two of the abducted females were preparing for their weddings scheduled for the weekend. The bandits are yet to contact the families of the abducted persons. To International Women's Day, uh, the wife of the president, Aisha Buhari, is, talking, uh, is calling on Nigerian leaders to bring an end to the incessant spate of abductions of women and girls in the country. The First Lady was speaking in a message to mark the 2021 International Women's Day. She also called on all stakeholders to continue to exert their different levels of influence and bring an end to the kidnappings. The statement uh, read, and I quote, As a mother, I share the sorrow and agony of the victims and their families. I am also not unaware of the impact that these abductions could have in reverting many successes we have hitherto achieved, especially in terms of girl-child education and early marriages. End of quote. Of this year's theme, Women in Leadership, Achieving an Equal Future in a COVID-19 World, is a strong call to appreciate the efforts of women and girls in the fight against COVID-19 pandemic. Meanwhile, President Muhammad Buhari has restated his administration's commitment to addressing the multifarious challenges confronting women at various levels of society. With females forming about half of the country's population, President Buhari averts that any government which neglects uh, such a crucial component of its demographic assets stands the risk of stunted growth and likely failure. He also condemned all forms of gender-based discrimination, abuse and violence targeted at women at the workplaces, schools, community and national levels. The president praised Nigerian women, noting that the theme of the 2021 celebration, Choose to Challenge, is apt because they have shown uh, by dint of hard work and capacity that they can perform creditively if given the opportunity at home and on the global stage. Uh, from there, we move to the National Assembly, uh, which has promised to further alter the provisions of the 1999 Constitution as amended to ensure justice and fairness for the female gender in the country. The Speaker of the House of Representatives, Femi Baja Biamila, gave the assurance at an event organized by the House to mark the International Women's Day. It's great as we the parliamentarians make it for you. Otherwise, greater tomorrow becomes just a phrase. We have to make it easier. We have to make that, we are sure that that tomorrow is great. And that's one of the reasons why we're here today and we're celebrating today. 
Because when we celebrate women, we celebrate children, boys and girls. There is no way you can separate children from women. Because it is a vehicle with which... And that's it on the news updates uh, for today on Wake Up Nigeria. And you're welcome back. And we have our performer on deck <laughs> today, Toby. He is a multi-talented artist whose originality cuts across music. As a multi-instrumentalist, music instructor, voice talent, songwriter and record producer, he is multi-talented as you can see. Um, it's great to have you on with us here today, Toby. Thank you. I'm, I'm so a bit confused. Here. Is it Toby or Toby? Why is it Toby? I don't know. Um, it's it's uh, basically, I just thought about having it been easy for the English people to be able to pronounce the word. Because yeah, well, a lot of people think T-O-B-I is just like, you know, it's okay. pronounced differently. Yeah. So your original name, your real name is Toby? T-O-B-I. Yes. Okay, nice. Um, what's your kind of music, if I may ask? So I'm, I'm a cross um, artist. So I do gospel, I do contemporary, and right. um, okay. yeah, just a mix of it all. And your influences are? Hmm. I'll say on a global gospel scene, I'll say Donna McClucken was one of my major influences. And um, on the Circle Award, I'll say John Legend. Nice. Not bad. Well, with what you said, I can't wait to hear you perform. I'm looking forward to some good sounds. So already, hey, let's have Thobie here on Wake Up Nigeria. And uh, you're going to be performing... Your love. Your love. Yes. Take it away. Progress in trying to close the pay gap mm. and all of that. However we're not doing so well in the financial sector mm. and a lot of studies and research has shown that let me even start with accounting mm. although you have 50 percent or nearly 50 percent of, of accounting graduates mm. so when you get into university you have lots of women you have nearly 50 percent of accounting employees mm. but when it comes to the leadership roles for instance in big four firms or medium-sized accounting firms the partners you see are still less than 15% women. They're still, mm. you know, 15% 15 women. Despite both male and female starting out together. Mm. So you, you begin to wonder what happens mm. in between when you all started off together, you have 50% representation, 50% mm. representation on the other mm -hmm. hand, but when you start to grow and move on in your career, you then see that there's a huge gap, mm. you see. So, so, so what factors are responsible for that? Yeah. There's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> So in the workplace, for instance, biological situation, you know, sets in and women need to, you know, have a baby wow. and all of that. So if, if the workplace or the organization doesn't have good policies that mm -hmm. helps women, you know, get reintegrated. Do both. The system. Exactly. Yeah, Where I, like I have that. to nurture my child. At mm -hmm. the same time, I have to be a professional. Yes. And even when they go and they come back, you know, there's not so much pressure. You know, all those sort of things. I mean, I don't want to talk about in certain countries what mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. maternity leave rates yes. are. Like nearly a year yeah. in, in, in some even places. Even in Lagos state government, it's now about six months okay. for so women. Okay. So you know, that's, that's great. So those the are government. the things that help. That time, men are still in the race. Yeah. And if opportunities come up, they the men move up. forward. Yeah. So, so it's like a race. So, so you I, drop out and the others continue, continue to run. Yeah. So I understand that now. But how are we doing here at uh, TVC? Okay. Put um, me on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> so TVC, we're very conscious um, about it. And perhaps because we have some of us women leaders who are particularly conscious about it. Mm -hmm. The CEO has decided and alongside with other management team that we will try to achieve a 50-50 balance. balance yes. And it's hard sometimes, but we're going to try to do that, which is why we have inaugurated the TVC Women's, Women's Network, Network um, mm -hmm. yesterday. To which yes. I wasn't invited, but it's okay. Why would you? Are you a woman? <laughs> what were you going to say, Mary, really? <laughs> Do you want me to get started with you? It's all about Victoria now. <laughs> so, yeah, um, the representation isn't that great. Let's even move away from accounting. Let's mm -hmm. look at private equity firms, the investment side of things. Let's look at hedge funds and venture capitalist firms. It's just 15% representation of women. Mm. And if you look at just generally mm. leadership position in the financial services sector, you only have about 25% 25, 25 representation of women, mm. oh, wow. you know, in the entire financial services sector. So there is a lot to be done. Whilst women are getting um, more education now, whilst women are doing 
greater things because there's better enlightenment. Mm -hmm. and financial services, we're still lacking be behind. Mm -hmm. So yeah, there's, there's, a, there's a gap there and hopefully you know, we can catch up with lots of um, talks like this and various other strategies that we can advise women to. However, uh, uh, Victoria, you know, most times when we talk about such issues, the first thing that people talk about is women empowerment. <laughs> like, uh, let's empower the women and everything will be all right for the world. But do you really think that is a solution? <laughs> or is it that the empowerment Ooh. programs are not being done right? Okay. So the word empowerment mm -hmm. and women empowerment <laughs> is almost sounding cliche. Yes. Because everyone just uses it. But I stuck to the fact that on my profile on LinkedIn, you'd see that I put women's empowerment there because... I know the way I empower women. Um, I read a book a while ago and it broke down empowerment because empowerment, the definition is wide, it's huge. So it's, it's, everyone can interpret it in whatever way they want to. But I stuck to this interpretation where they divvied up empowerment into five categories. And they had said, look, there's psychological empowerment, there's social empowerment, there's um, economic empowerment, there's um, which other one exists. But economic empowerment to me, there's educational empowerment. Mm -hmm. So there were about five. And I thought, okay, of this five, and there's political empowerment. So if you look at political, psychological, economical, educational, and social, for me, I chose economical, which is also financial empowerment. Mm -hmm. And the reason I chose economical is because as much as education is powerful, mm -hmm. right? And we say education is best, I'm educated, you know, we're doing well in education in some other areas. I mean, in the Ivy Leagues, even um, Harvard I released a study where the women representation on, in Ivy League schools, and particularly in their school, was a lot. It was almost the I same, mm -hmm. sometimes even more than the men. Yeah. But when you get to the leadership positions, there's still a gap. Mm -hmm. So what's happening? Which is why I'm saying education is good, but you see, economic empowerment, um, is a different ball game and with economic empowerment it, it's about financial literacy mm -hmm. it's about educating the girl child from the early age about budgeting savings you know how do you manage your money some of us who are educated don't even know how to manage our money True. some um, uh, male female we don't even know how to invest mm -hmm. so Sometimes they say, oh, money doesn't give you happiness. Is that, is that not what they say? Yeah. It can put you in crying in <laughs> a <laughs> nice car. <Exactly. laughs> but does money give you power, i ask you. In Nigeria? Is that a very fair question? I mm. think it's... Anywhere. It, it does, doesn't it? Am I wrong? It gives you influence. To me, to money is extent. power. It yes. is. Right? Yeah. Um, and I'll use a specific exam example to, my, to me and my family. My grandmother, on my maternal side, she raised my mom and three other siblings she wasn't educationally empowered mm. she raised all three of them by being a trader i still remember vividly oingbo market mm. she was a big time trader she had a toy store her no. toy store was huge and she used to travel to maybe neighboring countries to buy everything she sent four children to school nice. by being financially empowered now, she's not educationally empowered, yeah. which is why I say, look, once you empower people financially, the, the sky, you I mean, all of exactly, no, there's, exactly. There's, there's so get, get rid of poverty. Sure that you would want to put in there when it comes to empowering women, especially this fine week that we find ourselves. By the way, I see what you did with the theme color for women's week. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. Um, but um, we have to give you a taste of what we enjoy here every Ooh. single week. Yeah. Okay. Congratulations, you may get as our last guest for this okay. week. We have something cooking in the kitchen. Well, you know, as we're going to the kitchen, I'm just wondering, there are many ladies uh, in the financial sector who are listening to you now, watching us, and they're like, okay, so what can she advise us to do <laughs> <laughs> if we find ourselves in certain impossible situations like this? Thank yes, you. Yes, yes, yes. Um, I think if you are in the financial services sector and you want to aspire to a leadership position, mm. know the people in that sector. Mm. Because I would expect that every one of you know the people in media yeah. who you admire. Yeah. I know all the female leaders in finance from Ibukwa Woshika mm. to Mrs. Bello, um, um, Osage to um, people like Mrs. Demore, you know, all the, I know what I admire and mm. like and the character about trait I like about each one of them. So right. know them, study them. And then secondly, get a mentor. Yeah. It's, get a mentor. Mm. It's as easy as that. So <laughs> there you have it. Straight from, uh, no, not the horses. Just nah. <laughs> <laughs> but let's talk about
about food now. My gosh, this looks Yummy. good. Uh -uh, all that okra for this small amount. No, I thought this is the myself. kind of meal I like. Oh. Just small, but fill up with okra. I see Very that healthy. the chef didn't wait for me to come back so we could actually, you know, but it's okay. Actually, what? Chef, can you tell food. us about um, <laughs> this meal? <laughs> right here, we have seafood okra and eba. Okay. You know, you, you, as you can see, this is not um, this is not a matter of you know fork and knife. You have to dig in oh, your wow. hand. Oh wow! <laughs> <laughs> ah. to, 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 to enjoy <laughs> this. <laughs> I think it's just soup. Maybe just taste. taste. Yeah. Yeah. Let's have you try. She, wants, she wanted to put you on the spot. Uh. Yeah, let's have you try the soup because okay. the soup is the yes. cocoa the here, thing. seafood yes. okra. Mm. Oh boy. I can see some bone there. So. Okay. Let me just We're all envying you right now. <laughs> oh. Mary, mm. stop. What? Nothing. You always vocalize when you think of food. Very, very tasty. Nice. Mm. I'm going to have so that, that piece of crayfish. <laughs> I see. I see. That's nice. So you like it? Tasty. Mm -hmm. She said tasty. Mm -hmm. Oh, you. You had this like, you look on your face like, okay, what's she going to say? But it's all good. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Thank you. Please go time. ahead and enjoy your meal. Nah, thank, thank you so you. much for being on our show. That's thank our you. reward for your time. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you so much, Chef Sim Biat. Uh, thanks to everyone who has contributed uh, to the show today. Okay. And of course, we can order on Adonia Snacks. If okay. they want this type of Adonia meal. Adonia Snacks. snacks. Yeah, on this one is a snack. Yes, I know. I said it with snacks, actually. <laughs> Ever for snacks. Thank you very much, everybody. We enjoyed it. I hope you did as well. Looking forward to tomorrow when the women get to do their thing on Women's Week. Yeah. By the way. There's no other person here Wednesday. to share who runs the world. Yeah, that, that's something I know MM or Titi would have loved. <laughs> who runs the world? <laughs> I'm just going to say look out for tomorrow because it's going to be a fantastic show. Very, very awesome. All right. So it's a wrap. Have Bye -bye. a great day. Have a great Tuesday. Bye.